Hi, I'm Eric Roaring with Fontana Candle Company. In five years, my wife and I took our business of making candles in the basement to a seven-figure e-commerce brand distributed nationally. Follow along and we'll help you scale your business too. So candles are our biggest product line by far, but in a, in a second place are wax melts. If you're looking at diversifying your products that are really easy because you're already making candles, you have the wax, you have the scent, and you probably have a vessel already, Wax melts are a really easy thing to transition to. Again, they are our second best selling product that we offer, and we've done a bunch of iterations of them throughout the years. When we first started, we were using the little clamshells. We did reuse them, so we would fill them up and take the bricks out and then place them into jars. If you are having a customer that is more environmentally conscious, reusing these plastic shells and putting them into glass or something recyclable is a really good option. If you have a very price, price conscious consumer, this is something that you could just sell and place a sticker right on top here. It's really easy. Uh, when we were reusing these, it was getting to be a pain in the butt because we would get probably 10 pours out of them and then they would just be so coated in wax that we'd have to throw them away. But we did get 10 uses out of them. Um, if that's something that you're interested in, it's definitely an option and it's an easy starting point just to get a nice um, trial run and market sentiment to see how your, how your customers will uh, receive those new products. After we moved from this, we actually moved to a molded product. So we would have these silicone trays and we would fill each one. Now, one of the things that we got from customer feedback was the feeling that they weren't getting as many wax melts because we would give them three wax melts for every order versus six little cubes. In reality, the three wax melts weighed more than the six cubes, but the perception of getting three versus six was that they were getting less. So that's something that we're educating them on and showing them that by weight, they're actually getting more wax than if they were in the clamshells. One of the things you also have to be conscious about if you are moving into a molded product is we've gotten a lot of feedback that these wax melt pucks do not fit into everyone's warmers because they are a little bit bigger. We're getting most of the feedback from customers who have a Sensi warmer because they are a little bit smaller. So just something to keep in mind if you are looking for molded type products. As we graduated into the molding products, we wanted to elevate our packaging a little bit. So what we did was we actually had a custom box designed and we had um, a custom insert tray you made for it. It held three pucks and it was a very nice presentation, but we found out really quickly that because it's not airtight and this tray material actually started wicking the essential oils out of the wax. So we got a lot of discoloration, we got a lot of blooming, we got a lot of seeping around the tray the presentation just wasn't right and the scent wasn't very good. So if you're e-com and you are shipping, be very conscious of the product that you are putting out there and how it will ship, how it will handle, how, how you can inventory it and put it on your shelves. There's a lot of considerations that come into packaging. So before you make the mistake of that we did and buy 10,000 of these, do a smaller sample and ship a couple. One of the reasons why we couldn't test with this was because it is custom made and the minimum order was 10,000 units. So it was just a tough, expensive lesson that we learned. We're trying to figure out a way to repurpose the box um, yet to be determined. The other part of this, because this box is really three or four pieces, including the sticker, there's the box, the tray, the outer box, and then placing the pucks in it, it was really labor intensive. And when we were doing it in testing, it was okay, but doing it in scale, it just wasn't feasible. It took probably three minutes a box to do, which just didn't make sense at all. So we did this for about two months and we had to pivot. So we have a ton of these boxes sitting in storage now, and we went back to the glass jar. So everything is still molded, you still get three pucks, but now they come into the glass jar. It increased our efficiency in the labor aspect because we're not manufacturing boxes in-house and assembling. And the jar is airtight. It's um, amber, so it's protecting the pucks a little bit more. 
and is just really easy to ship and, and manufacture. The other nice thing is we were able to reduce the skew down by not having the box. This is the same jar we use in our candles. And so we eliminated an extra skew to manage, but also increased our volume of the raw material we're buying in the jar, helping us get more efficiencies and higher quantity discounts when we are buying jars. So if you are looking to try and diversify your product offerings, highly strongly recommend looking at wax melts. Four years ago when we launched them, um, it was kind of a one-off thing, but they've quickly grown to our number two product. We sell probably 30,000 of them a year in these little, uh, little jars, and they're super easy. You don't need any more materials other than your molds, and it's a nice product extension that your customers are familiar with. If you have any comments or questions or have any thoughts about future episodes, let us know. We'd love to hear them.